Let's move on to the fourth step. And the uh, first three steps, what we did is we removed the window security altogether. We set up the mutual account recognition on all the PCs that are going to be using OPC communication. And in step number three, we actually configured the system-wide DCOM settings that affect the entire computer. But this time, what we're going to do is we'll configure the server-specific DCOM settings. So this now we have to do for every OPC server that's, uh, that, that we're actually going to use in our system. Again, uh, you need to go into the start, click on the start, uh, on the window start button. Um, from there, select the run menu option and type in DCOM CNFG, DCOM config. Once you do that, um, you'll go back into the component services window. Uh, you may already be there if you just followed us here from step number three. In here, uh, navigate down from console root to component services to computers, down into my computer. And once you open up my computer, you'll see several folders there. And specifically, click on DCOM config. So click on the DCOM config folder. And notice it's spelled actually different than the way it's spelled um, up in the run dialog box. Um, yeah, it's called, it's spelled DCOM config. In any case, what we'll do is um, take a look at the list of servers we'll find our server. In this case, it's the Kepware server uh, th that I'm using, but uh, click on it and uh, right click and select the properties option. So select the properties option uh, from there and uh, you'll be greeted with a brand new dialog box. So what we start out with is the server properties and we'll take a look at the general tab in here we can see that the authentication level is set to default remember that we set that up in step number three and the system wide settings so just leave that at the default in the location tab very specifically check the run application on this computer checkbox so make sure that that particular checkbox is is checked uh, it, you may choose something else, a different option in other DCOM applications, but for OPC very specifically, that's the option that we typically want. In the security tab, uh, just use the default again that we set up in the uh, that we set up in the system-wide configuration. So no changes are necessary here. Next, we click on the endpoints tab and once again you'll see the default system protocols nothing needs to change everything is uh, taken directly from the directly from the default from here uh, we move on to the identity tab now the identity tab might look like one of two things as you see here um, so on the left we have the interactive user the launching user and this user that are enabled everything else is disabled and what you'll see on the right is uh, this user is enabled and the system account is enabled and that's because on the left we have a regular Windows application whereas on the right we're actually configuring a Windows service and we'll talk more about that uh, in just a little bit specifically uh, in the next uh, couple of minutes here we'll talk about the different users the interactive user the launching user this user and the system account and we'll talk about the implications of each one and remember, if you don't choose the identity properly, I can guarantee that you're going to run into some uh, uh, OPC problems that can cause you some, some headaches. Anyway, uh, let's go on to the, uh, um, to the specific user, uh, to the specific identity.